No sign of Jurgen. I hope Elise is okay. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctagall was conducting at Fort Gondola? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Roshigal already has booster technology as well. That would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctical might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Isla told me you were back in town. I'm so relieved to find you safe. Thanks. Are the wyverns you promised us ready to ride yet? Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. Hey, maybe we should warn the King of Ashul how ugly things will get if war breaks out. The King does seem pretty popular. Do you think maybe he'd fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. This is a war we're talking about here, not a tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face chat with the King myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. It's crucial that we meet the King of Ajul. We'll head for Kambalar right away. Uh, okay. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there too. Did Zhao tell you that? If the king truly wishes to protect his people, he'll give me the answer I see. If he gives me the wrong answer, I'll remind him of his duty. I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea! Let's go pick the king's brain! Oh, I just remembered! All our luggage is back at the inn! Let us go fetch it. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a bit. Alvin. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, O oh hollowed spirit. Never a dull moment with that guy. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the four's power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. But they will be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, they would just disappear? A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. Still, I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious.
Let's head for Kanbalar. It's best to always think that way, Mila. And I'm glad you do. Nostalgia for Nia Kara. Do you ever think about Nia Kara? Ivor will protect it in my absence. There's no need to worry about the village's safety. Oh, I wasn't asking about that. What I meant is, do you ever get homesick? Oh. Sometimes I do miss the purity of Nia Kara air. Well, if you ever want to go back, just say the word. It was a sub-quest. Maybe I should go back. Eh. Thinking about it, maybe. Anyway, Exodus's shadow. It seems that Exodus has slipped through our fingers. There's nothing we can do about that now. They must be as desperate as we are, given their behavior. And what do you intend to do about Alvin? If we send him away, he'll only follow us. And we can't neutralize him by force without risking our own lives. Therefore, the safest solution is to keep him where we can see him. Besides, for good or for ill, that man has the power to change the circumstances of any situation. That is not a power to be dismissed lightly. Nor is the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting subquests up the butt. Maybe I should look around. I see a shiny thing though, so I might go and grab that. Insect wings. And introductions. And Jandu. Remember that beautiful woman I saw you speaking to in Shandu? Carla? What about her? How odd that you never bothered to introduce me. Uh... <clears throat> Do you want to meet her? What's this? There's someone you want me to meet. Oh my. Well, I suppose it would be rude to refuse. Do you seriously have the hots for that chick? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of subquests. I don't even know where that chick is. So, I don't know, you might be on your own there, buddy. I don't really feel like looking around for your hot date. But a hotel for the night. Are you okay? We should stop and rest. No, no, I'm fine. You shouldn't push yourself. And I guess that means I should probably go rest. I don't know where that chick is, though, so... I don't know where I would find her. Oh, well, for now, let's just stop at the inn, because apparently they want me to do that. For Mila. For my girl Mila. You don't look so good. Maybe we should take a few days off. No. We can't afford to do that. Ah! Ooh! Ow! Such agony! I think I just threw out my back again. Uh, oh! Oh no! My, uh, acute hiccup disorder! It's totally flaring up! That sounds pretty serious. You two need to get some rest. Please! Yes, please. Ow, ow, ow. Very well. I had hoped to get an early start tomorrow, but I guess we can push our departure back a bit. <sighs> Does your Asperixis still hurt? No, not as much as before. Before? Before it was so bad that you passed out from the pain. Without the Asperixis, I wouldn't be able to stand, let alone walk and fight. To me, there is no greater pain than having something to do and being unable to do it. Thanks to this, I can do what I have to. The pain is a small price to pay. Hmm. <sighs> How's Mila doing? She's pushing herself too hard. Mila's so composed that it's easy to forget sometimes. But the fact is, she's making a difficult journey after suffering a terribly debilitating injury. And taking it easy doesn't seem to be in her vocabulary. 
If only there were some way to alleviate her pain, even just a little. If only we had a heart herb. Oh, of course. Heart herbs are renowned for their ability to relieve pain. Yeah, I learned about them in my pharmacology class. When used in aromatherapy, they're supposed to ease the tension in both body and mind. They're also rare, bordering on extinction. I wanted to get a heart herb for a special lady once, but I couldn't find one anywhere. I'm sure it won't be easy to find, but I want to try, for Mila's sake. I have no idea where I would find that, but maybe we can someday. Hey, there's that chick! Sorry, I wasn't able to speak with you earlier. I'm Carla Outway. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Mila. Rowan, a pleasure to meet you. Carla's a historian and a teacher. That's very admirable of you. Not at all. And how about you? You won the tournament, right? That makes Elise one of the youngest winners ever. Really? Remember what I told you about Master Hemming? He won his first tournament when he was 14. And until Elise showed up, his record was never officially broken. And what about unofficially? An astute question. Unofficially, the youngest person to win the tournament did so at 12, the same age as Elise. He was a young boy who fought his way to the final match alone without even using a Lilium Orb. Are you sure he wasn't a spirit? No, no, of course he wasn't. His name was Erston Outway. Erston Outway? Is he related to you? My brother. This happened 20 years ago. But why wasn't his victory officially recognized? Our father was the chief of the Outway tribe. But we were a small tribe, and the other tribes used their influence to change things the way they saw fit. That's just how it was back then. So you're saying his win was taken away? Yes, it was his opponent's doing. He belonged to a tribe that was very close to the king. Twenty years ago. That would place it before the dawn of Ajur. Before the current king took the throne, the chiefs of several large tribes ruled alongside his predecessor. Many people were killed back then, but our current king put a stop to that. I see. Anyway, I have an important errand to run. See you all again soon. Imagine having a hard-fought victory erased like that. I wonder how Carla's brother felt. I used to be quite a martial artist myself. I defended my position as the army's second strongest fighter throughout my military career. If it were me who was robbed like that, I'd have hunted down my opponent and thrashed him again when no one was looking. R Rowan, you play pretty dirty. So what would you do in that situation? Me? I... I can't even imagine. I'm down with Rowan's idea. I'd totally do that. But since I'm probably gonna end this off in a little bit, um, I'm gonna do a few things. Um, we got that P Peach Elephant Tusk, and I just remembered that. So we're gonna head to Sherilton, and, um... I gotta remember which way I gotta come in. I think it's this one. Yeah. Um, so we can turn this these into these fucking annoying chicks. You're good. With this, you've proven yourself as an intermediate pinkist. But that cute pink thing can only be shown to pro pinkists. It's the law. There's a law for that? <laughs> there super is! You can't let them beat you. Calm down, Jude. How can I become a pro pinkist? You have to bring us something every pinkist dreams of. A pink emerald. If you can do that, we'll accept you as one of us. <laughs> we'll super accept you! Okay, let's do this! I just realized how out of place that scene was. That was really out of place and I probably should have waited. Oh well. Um, we could do one more thing I'm kind of thinking about doing. 
Let's head for Neocara. I don't know if, like, anything will happen if I come back here, but... I might as well try. At least I get to hang out with my cow friends. Look at them. Look at that butt. They actually, like, turned him. But is there anything here I can do? Because they want us to come back here. No one's in here. Anyone around want to hang out with Mila, the, the great lord spirit, Maxwell? Anyone? No? Oh well, I guess we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Since I'm not fine yet. I know there's that kid who still wants a fucking napple. I'm sorry, kid. I don't know when I'm gonna get your napple. I'm sorry. He fucking hates me. I know it. I know he hates me because I never got on that apple. I'm probably never gonna get that apple. Maybe one day, but for right now, he fucking hates my guts. There's no way he doesn't. But anyway, let's get moving on, and I'll probably end it off in the next place, the next area. 500 gold. How much money do I have? 38,000. That's not bad. But yeah, I've been recording for around 2 hours and 40 minutes, so I think I think that's a good time to end it off. I've, I've been quite a bit in this session. I've learned quite a lot about Elise and about Exodus. Whoa! Snowy area. <sighs> Tipo and the Four Great Spirits. You tell me that normally the Four Great Spirits follow you everywhere. Is that for real? Yes, but... No way! So how does it feel to command them? Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer that. They've always been with me, so it just feels... normal. They're always with you, huh? So I guess it's like Elise and Tipo. Interesting. So Elise may feel the same way about Tipo as I feel about the Four. When you put it that way, the way I've treated her seems quite insensitive. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I can't afford to get swept up in sentiment at a time like this. It was insensitive. Or insensitive. Wow, what did I just say? <laughs> Uh, one more skit and then I'll end this off. The amazing and cumbersome human body. <laughs> what I wouldn't do to be in front of a warm fireplace right now. I'd certainly kill for a nice steaming bowl of stew. Ooh, you'd kill for stew? Hmm, for once, I understand exactly what you mean. Mila, isn't your stomach cold? It's fine. <laughs> oh, mucus! <laughs> Looks like you're having fun over there. I am. The human body is truly a cumbersome thing. Um, anyway, who's ready to eat? Is she seriously... <sighs> Never mind. Anyway, I think that's about it for this time. We've done quite a lot, but next time on Let's Play... Tales of Zillia. We'll be heading forth to meet with the King of At Azul. Er... Yeah, right? Azul? I always get that name messed up for some reason. Yeah, Azul. So, next time we'll be hanging through this icy area. And I might grind a little bit off screen, just a tad, just a tad bit. And we'll be meeting, meeting with the king of Azul. So, I'll see you guys then. Just made me really sad. Damn it. <laughs>